a fantastical imperial gathering. This captivating scene is set in the city of Xi'an, which was the capital city for 13 of China's dynasties. Situated in Shanxi province, in north central China, the ancient city is home to a variety of attractions and places of historical interest, including the expansive city wall and moat. As currently conserved, the city fortifications are the moat, ramparts, towers, gates, and other features as constructed and expanded in the Ming and Qing dynasties, approximately over or around remaining fortifications of the Sui, Tang, and Yuan dynasties. The wall was damaged heavily by air raids in the late 1930s during the Japanese invasion, and various modifications were made to meet the demands of modern transportation. Recent restorations present the fortifications in splendid condition for tourists. The city wall is a major sightseeing destination, with attractions such as live music, golf court tours atop the wall, and exhibitions. The towering gates are among the most striking features of the fortification. The Gate of Eternal Tranquility, the southern central entrance to the walled city, is the location of this featured scene. The city wall serves as a backdrop for figures in an imperial assembly. The live performers are dressed in costumes inspired by fashions of the Tang dynasty and play the Zheng, which is part of the zither family, Yang Qin, a kind of hammered dulcimer, pipa, a type of lute, and arhu, a variety of two-stringed fiddle. The ensemble evokes the sense that some of the imperial entertainment troupe have come alive to share their talents in the real world. While the stimulating set offers a sense of historical Chinese culture and the imperial establishment, it is, in fact, an impossible scene with an assortment of figures uprooted from different paintings and historical periods. The featured works belong to an important type of East Asian painting known as a hand scroll. When appreciating this type of work, the viewer unrolls the painting from right to left, revealing details of the scene little by little until the very end of the scroll. In the epoch before the invention of film, the art form would have afforded an exciting, even suspenseful experience as scenes unfurled before the viewer. The prominent seated figure wearing the yellow robe is the Emperor Xuanzong, who reigned from 712 through 756 during the Tang Dynasty. He and the four functionaries to his right, wearing robes, with large ornate roundels, are derived from the painting Venerable Zhang Guo in audience with Emperor Ming by Ren Ren Fa, who lived during the Yuan Dynasty. The two official attendants to the Emperor's left are extracted from a work attributed to Yan Li Ben of the Tang Dynasty known by the titles 13 Emperors and Emperors of Former Dynasties. Holding court tablets called Hu in both hands, they are depicted as part of the entourage of the Emperor Xuan of Chun, who reigned from 569 through 582 during the period of the Northern and Southern Dynasties. Although here at the Xi'an city wall, they appear to be waiting upon the Tang Emperor Xuanzong in the yellow robe. Many of the figures are derived from a renowned painting called The Night Revels of Han Xizai, which is thought to be a Song Dynasty copy of an original attributed to the artist Gu Hongzhong. The work depicts the alleged scandalous entertainments of an official named Han Xizai, who served under the Southern Tang Dynasty during the Five Dynasties period. They include the musicians playing flutes and bili, a type of reed instrument, on the emperor's far right, and the seated man wearing black, playing clappers, who is believed by some to be Li Jiaming, an assistant director in the Imperial Music Bureau. On the other end, on the emperor's far left, is another male figure in black playing clappers and the painting's protagonist, Han Xizai, 
playing a large red drum, as well as Li Jiaming's sister playing the pipa. The bearded man in red holding a court tablet is a protocol officer from the painting Emperor Taizong receiving the Tibetan envoy, which is considered to be a Song Dynasty reproduction of an original work attributed to Yan Liben. In the painting, which is sometimes called simply the palanquin, the figure in red stands before the Tang Dynasty Emperor Taizong, who reigned from 626 through 649, and is presumably ushering in the Tibetan emissary Gar Tongzhen Yulsung and announcing the audience before the emperor's palanquin. Meanwhile, Gar Tongzhen Yulsung is shown to the emperor's left in this fabricated outdoor display. Since the group of figures includes only one emperor atop a pyramidic arrangement, the designer apparently envisioned one unified scene. The emperor sits upon his colorful throne, overlooking the others while the many attendants, officials, and musicians are generally oriented in his direction. The figures are removed from the context of their respective original paintings, in many cases inverted in position and orientation, and transformed into attentive members in a contrived imperial court. That the emperor and immediately adjacent attendants float fantastically upon clouds suggests the designers never intended viewers to take the arrangement of figures as an historically accurate depiction. Perhaps we are given an unprecedented glimpse at recreations in a mystical realm in which individuals from various historical periods interact, unbound from temporal restraints. The imagined gathering comprising an anachronistic array of figures from well-known Chinese paintings spanning several hundred years may frustrate some art historians and connoisseurs, but for many viewers, the fusion undoubtedly evokes a sense of bygone imperial grandeur.